Is Master Gregory here? Possibly. Master Gregory, do you not hear the bells? There is a ringing in my ear. In the village, in the old church, there's a child, no more than ten years of age. She is... infected. You may note I am presently not dealing with the otherworldly. On your feet, sir. It seems you're requested for duty. My only oath is to this stool. It is an oath I intend not to break. The mark on your hand tells me you're a knight. Have you no honor? This man says an innocent is at risk. And you do nothing. On the contrary, I'm doing my best to ignore him. <laughs> I beg of you, do not do this. Never mind, this won't be an execution, merely an education. Feel it. I was begging for your life, not his. The trick is not to feeding him with a cop. The trick is not to spill. <laughs> Thank you. Mr. Bradley, why did you not tell me the bells are ringing? Apologies, Master. Thank you. 
Is it Kate? You're supposed to be minding the pigs. <laughs> I've never hit one. Nope. But I'm getting closer. You're not a hunter, Tom. I'm not destined to spend the rest of my life feeding pigs. I'm gonna get out of here, Kate. I'm gonna leave this place soon. I just. I know it. Tom, you're shaking. Go get mom, Kate. Go! Father will have you for dinner. Yes, ma'am. Come on. Residents, 
Who's asking? I understand there's a seventh son of a seventh son that lives here. Do not say there's not, for I know that there is. I'm in a hurry. Bit hungry as well. My compliments to the cook. You're welcome. So, which one is the seventh? What is your name, boy? Thomas Ward. He's strong. Does a lot of work around the farm. So, the dealing has begun. a spook. It is a noble profession. And your last apprentice and the one before him? What happened to them? And now you come here for my son? I'm supposed to go with him. He is a bit scrawny for a seventh son. dreaded the thought of this day. But I knew it would come. Then you understand. I know you better than you think I do, Tom. Be wise. Be careful. Remember, all you ever need is inside you. Just don't be afraid to look. Your pendant. I don't know, I can't. Wear it. Always. That is a vow I cannot make. What has he done to you? Not just me. All of us. Burned. Starved. And forced into hiding. The spook has no mercy. You needn't 
fear Gregory any longer. My beautiful sister. Thank you, my queen. demons with wet feet. Here. This is to get your boots fixed. I will pick up provisions. Provisions? Liquids. Needed to ward off evil spirits. Fermented liquids? Lest I forget, pick up grease, salt, flour, and bacon. I'm starting to wish I was a sixth son. And I'll deal with it. Who are you? I am Master Gregory's apprentice. It's true. I saw the spook going into the tavern. And in my expert opinion, she is extremely dangerous. Shall we fetch your master? No. No, I can take her away and dispose of her. But I'll need salt, flour, and grease. Go ahead. Throw in some bacon as payment. <laughs> so what are you going to do with me, Mr. Apprentice? I'm not sure yet. You don't believe that I'm a witch? You don't look like a witch. Do you really think you'll make it as a spook? That's the idea. You seem too nice. You know that all of his apprentices were killed, don't you? What's your name? Tom, what's yours? I'll tell you next time. Whoa. Next time? I read fortunes. We will meet again. Just don't tell your master about me. Why not? You don't like secrets? Close your eyes. Why? Just close your eyes.
Yes, it's me. How's it possible you look... Is this your daughter? Are you a loyal girl? Like your mother? So this is your spy that follows Gregory. I like your shoes. Hmm. Human father. Lizzie, you surprise me. Help yourself to the blood cakes, little one. They give you strength. Soon the blood moon will be full, and as it grows stronger, so do all of us. We must call the others. Pendle Mountain welcomes you, brothers and sisters. Your queen has returned. Not dally, Mr. Ward. What kind of forest is this? When you address me, address me as Master Gregory. So, uh, Master Gregory, if, uh, from your new apprentice, what happened to the old one? Wrong question. Wrong questions get wrong answers. So he's dead. <laughs> Just a ghast, level six creature. These words are filled with them. Try not to upset it. To leave you alone. <laughs> what do you know of what a spook actually does? Ah, uh, you kill creatures of the dark. Your answer. It fills me with confidence. We tend to creatures of the dark. Some are less harmful, such as ghasts. The most dangerous, such as witches. We trap or kill. My last apprentice wrote this all down. Yeah, he's dead. I'm just saying maybe he didn't do everything right. William Bradley was the finest apprentice I've ever had. He died at the hands of Mother Malkin. To the Witch Queen? I thought she was just a legend. You live in a world now where legend and nightmare are real. Malkin is alive. We journeyed to her fortress in Pendle Mountain where she no doubt hides. <laughs> Mr. War! <laughs> Mr. War! <laughs> You passed out. Your spells, boy. What kind? Sometimes I... I see things. Things that haven't happened yet. Could be useful. Not the passing out part, of course, but the visions, perhaps. <laughs> What is that? You mean who? This is Tusk. Royal as he is ugly. <laughs> These things that you see in your visions, can you alter them or are they fixed? I, I, I don't know. I haven't really tried. With a little help, most of life's curses can be a gift. Ah, oh, my beauties. Return as I knew they would. Tend to them, Tusk. What is this place? Home Street Hall. We must arm ourselves for the journey to Pendle Mountain. 
Come, Mr. Ward. The Falcons, an order of noble knights dedicated to combating the forces of darkness and responsible for passing their knowledge and skills to other seven sons of seven sons. <laughs> it, it says here that there are a thousand of you. That is a very old tapestry. They all died when we turned to darkness. When you deal with dark, dark gets in you. So, you're the only one left? So you're the only one left, Master Gregory. Thank you for reminding me. How long is this apprenticeship supposed to last? Ten years for my last apprentice. But with you, I have less than one week. Why so short? That is when the blood moon will be full. Happens once a century. The last time was followed by years of war. Witches laid waste to cities. The world is still recovering. If we do not start, Mother Malkin, before the next red moon sets, how can we pass? Enough. No more questions. We leave it dawn. Stay in your chamber. Master Gregory, if you want me to learn, you have to explain things. No time. We must get to Pendle Mountain before Malkin assembles the minions. There are witches that need killing. Fucking witches. Mr. Ward, and not surprisingly, you failed! Test 
number two, the Rowan Staff, carved by the very first Falcon Knight. Finest fighting staff there is. Master it, and you can master any weapon. Show me what you are! I paid good money for you. I think your father deceived me of your world. Are you not the seventh son of a seventh son? You ought to be seven times as strong as a normal man. Your ma'am! She did not put up much of a fight to keep you, did she? There's not enough time. You'll be dead in a week. Good aim. I was aiming for your head. Missed. Teach me. Please. With the Blood Moon's rise and Malcolm's arrival, the creatures of the dark will be more frequent and more powerful. These are her lieutenants. This is Radu. He has an army of assassins. Throw the knife. Go! Salt and iron, they are crucial. Salt burns, iron bleeds away the strength of any creature of the dark. Tincture of copper, for flesh wounds. Silver pain, repels witches. Ogre scrotums, for your own enjoyment, follow. Stone chuckers, they are not to be confused with cattle rippers. What's the difference? Stone chuckers, chuck stones, cattle rippers rip cattle. The names are fairly self-evident. <laughs> Verbenum. Gods against spells. Th that is disgusting. What does that kill? Cowardice. Serican takes the form of a leopard. Verahadra is the king of swords. Consistency is admirable, Mr. War. Of all of them, Malkin is the strongest. She is the queen. You know, I've seen Mother Malkin in my visions. It's gonna take a lot more than salt and iron to defeat her. You leave Malkin to me. Continue your studies. your return. My finest assassins. Radu, you spoil me. But you must keep your gifts. You will need them more than I. Have you forgotten? There are spooks buried all over this mountain who thought they could slay me. When the blood moon is full, Gregory will be next. Did you look at me? Never, never look at me. Your finest assassins? You may keep them.
Mother. She's dangerous. She's my sister. She healed me, Alice. By the time the moon is full, she will rule this land. And we will be there by her side. No more hiding from men. No more fearing them. Right. Just fearing her. I would never let her hurt you. And now go. And keep an eye on that spook. What are you doing here? Swimming? In moonlight? Turn around. Was that? It is said that when a witch first touches by moonlight the man with whom she's meant to walk hand in hand, there's a blue spark. So you are a witch. My father is a gypsy. My mother is a witch. So that makes me a witch. <laughs> She's all I have. We're not all evil, you know, as your master would have you believe. Some of us are good. Some are bad. And the rest are simply unaware. And what kind are you? So where are you headed? To Pendle Mountain. Why do you want to be like him? He treats you worse than a dog calls witches abominations. Have you been spying on us? Yes. For who? Someone who calls people abominations. What is that? That is Tusk. He's having a bad dream by the sounds of it. I wonder what monsters have nightmares about. Humans, probably. Writing down what you have learned in your journal, as I have instructed. I have a good memory for facts. Do you now? You remember the difference between a ghost and a ghast? A ghost is a full spirit, a ghast is a fragment of a spirit who's moved on. Correct. Tusk. Aim Tusk. Good 
What is that? The bell. I'm being summoned. Toss. Let's make yourself scarce. Are you Gregory? That depends on who is inquiring. You are cordially invited to the walled city. The Inquisitor has instructed me to return you there. Now. It will cost us two days' journey. If it is anything less than a bogart, we are on our way. What's a bogart? You do not want to know. The devil is upon us. There will be slaughter. The signs of evil are everywhere. And now we have this beast. Unlike anything we've seen before, no priest dares go near it. I thought perhaps you might better protect us. Flattery is fine, gold is finer. It's a bit light. You'll get the rest when the job is done. Malkin's most bloodthirsty lieutenant. He has killed more of my kind than all of the rest put together. His name is Ura! It took three regiments to secure the creature. I was the only one to survive. Leave us. Secure the doors! Find him alone. Why? Ancient code of honor. More importantly, I prefer not to split the reward. Fashion boy. <laughs> <laughs> 